Okay, so you just didn't watch ESPN. Okay, so the draft was on ESPN. And uh, I think other networks were there doing the same thing they were doing, but they, were, they weren't carrying it. It was actually ESPN. Or was NFL Network doing it too? Okay, so I was watching the one with uh, Gruden. And he was like playing the, um, the negative voice of players. What, you know, what they need to work on. Like what's wrong with their game. And uh, I, w I really almost couldn't believe it, to be honest with you, because, like, at one point, uh, I'm sitting there listening to him talk, and he was, at, at, like, the point of talking about uh, DeForest Buckner, the kid out of Oregon, right? He gets the number seven nod to the Niners, right? So you hear the same stuff all the time, the uh, raw power, athleticism, a uh, run defender, he's got, uh, he can penetrate, he's uh, a pass rusher, uh, he has quickness, big hands, all the rest, he's durable, he's productive, all this nonsense, this, this you know, rhetoric they come up with for every player is this, he's that, he's this, he's that. But here's this guy, Gruden, he's like saying, what's wrong with him? He's like, he, he he's not a three down uh player he's uh got to learn how to uh, he get he said that he gets pushed out of plays big plays he's like he gets it, on third downs uh he got burned a lot with like draws uh quick passes uh he got pushed out of the pocket uh and all this you know frankly negative talk of of like he does this wrong he does that wrong he does this wrong he does that wrong and I'm just sitting there listening going, okay. And no offense to him, because obviously he's won Super Bowls and he knows five million times more than me, obviously. I, I'm aware of that. But I really don't understand. I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to wrap my head around why is it that uh, you're a number seven pick in the NFL draft in the first round, the seventh player taken, and it sounded like he sucks. <laughs> Like, he's like, he does this wrong, he does that wrong, he does this wrong, he does that wrong, he's limited here, he's, uh, his size and speed is lacking, his pass, he's not a third down back, he's very, he's got to learn how to, he's got to, he's going to have to work on this, that, and this, because he doesn't do any of those well. And I'm th sitting there thinking to myself, man, he's going to be really rich for a guy that sucks. I mean, it's unbelievable to me. But then, as I was watching, because I watched for a while, and it just, he, that's what he did all night. Then he did it again to Leonard Floyd. The linebacker out of Georgia that went to the Bears at number nine, and he talked about how many uh, things he does wrong, and that he has to get stronger, bigger, faster. He's got to learn how to stop the pass, this, that. He's got to get into the pocket. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God, his job, I think, on this dais is to break down all of their problems and weaknesses of these players of how far they have to go to actually make it in the NFL. So I thought it was real interesting that you had a guy on there critiquing all the things that they don't do well, yet they were, <laughs> as, as I was watching, they were getting richer by the minute. I mean, just filthy rich for guys that have all these problems with their game. I don't get it. You're either good and you're in the top ten, or suddenly, I don't under, understand how do you suck when you're in the top ten in the NFL draft. <laughs> how do you suck at anything when you're a top pick in the NFL draft? Honestly, it, it drove me crazy. I was like, is there anything that the kid does? Oh, he's a great kid. His parents love him. It's time to lay the sports update. A guy that was never drafted, but he should have been. Peter Schwartz.